guys, it's Brianna, and today I'm going to be reading Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Since it's the last week of camp, we thought this would be a great read for you guys. I actually read this to my students the last couple weeks of school this year, and they really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you are too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. What do you guys think this place is? I would ask this to my students when we read it. Some people thought these were like elephant feet, some thought lollipops or a fun house. So take a minute and think, what kind of place are they at? You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. So sometimes things don't go as planned. I think we've all experienced that. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and then chances are then that you'll be left in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters, or maybe not quite. Or go around back and sneak in from behind. Simple it's not, I'm afraid you'll find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdest wild spaces, headed, I fear, toward a most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, waiting for the wind to fly a kite, like this friend over here, or waiting around for a Friday night, or perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a bed or break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or, a, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. 
it can be hard to wait sometimes too. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There's fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous, as famous as can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Sounds pretty cool. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not. Alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hack and cracks howl. Onward up many a frightening creek. Though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. So you just gotta keep on going. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far. And face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, which means to use all your skills to the best of your abilities. And never mix up your right foot from your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Just like this little guy right here. So, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Murdachi, Ali, Van Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So. Get on your way. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. This is one of my favorites to read at the end of a school year or at the end of day camp. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.